Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Forza Horizon 4. This is the first of the BMWs, and it's quite appropriately named. It's a 1 Series M Coupe, a 2011 BMW. Um, yeah, this one, um, I think I got it from either a wheel spin or from an event, I can't really remember. But I have never driven this vehicle in the game, so it's going to be a first for me. It's a Class A 731, rear-wheel drive. Um, yeah, let's see how it does. It's classic. It's really cool. I've driven in a similar one before, um, many years ago. But, okay, well, not that many years ago, but yeah, it was, it was a while back. They're very, very cool. They're really quick, very nippy. Um, yeah, very, very cool car. Right, let's see how it does in Forza. <laughs> Don't get a wheel spin there. Alrighty. It's got an interesting sound. Eye revving. Six splendor. Oh, it must have been an older generation that I drove in with this vehicle. As I see now, the rear lights, they're not exactly the same. But yeah, overall, it feels a little bit lazy. It feels like it will lose its grip if you're not careful. Oopsie. Strange gear ratio, so I would say, but maybe that's just my mistake. We'll see if it happens again. It feels much better on the dirt, though. See, so sometimes you'll get that. Like sometimes a vehicle won't feel that nice on the tarmac, and then on the dirt it feels a lot, lot better. I think it's a little bit underpowered. Here we go. But you just need to find its groove. It's got that feeling that it wants to drift a bit. Wants to swing its back out a bit, so you just need to be careful. It's got great brakes, as BMWs do. Let's see if we can get through all of these people. See the interior? Very nice. Classy BMW. A little bit claustrophobic. I like the visibility, it's good. Except for the barge pillar on the left here, but I can at least see the side view mirror, which is nice. But I can't really see who's on the right side of me. See, <laughs> there we go. I like the the gauges, they're cool. Oop, Audi, there we go. Hello. Um, yeah, lovely feel, classic BMW feel. Might have been a 132M that I drove in once. That's a, it was many years ago. So it definitely was many years ago. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. It's much better on the dirt, I must say. I prefer it on the dirt rather than on the tarmac. Yeah, it starts to slip as soon as you get onto the tarmac. Short hop. Nice. It's a lovely little compact car. Yeah, I like it. It feels nice from the interior view. It feels a little bit more controllable. 302. Um, yeah, so I guess for a lower ranked Class A vehicle, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. Let's see what it does on the cross-country circuit. I think it's gonna struggle a little. I'm just thinking. It feels like it will... I don't know. Let's see. Let me not speak too quickly. Let me not judge too early, you know? Now, comment below what do you think of the vehicle so far. It's quite a vibe. 
<laughs> Don't quite like the color, but that's just me personally. That's just how I got the car, so. Yeah. Let's see it. Gotta love those um, high revving engines, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's struggling. It's struggling a little bit for grip. Once you have it straight, it goes straight. <laughs> Kinda. I think it was meant more for tarmac, judging by the wheels. I don't think the tarmac, the, t uh, the tires are very good, so you can always upgrade. Then it will stick around, you know. <laughs> point as I called it in the earlier videos. This pillar really does ruin the vibe. Because <laughs> it's like just a bit too much in my field of vision, like of where I want to be able to see, if that makes sense. Alright, let's see the exterior view. Looks like a much bigger car <laughs> using the exterior view. I think it's actually not that big of a car. Really. But it feels big in the game. here I mean it's not doing that it's not horrible you know like Aston Martin Vulcan vibes on grass you know <laughs> but yeah it's it's okay but it's not gonna it's not gonna get you to win a race that's for sure you're definitely fighting more with the vehicle Okay. It's still a challenge though. If you like a challenge, use this bit. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. 323.9. Hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see how it does on the drag strip. Pretty from the front. I like the front. Back of the rear. Me. Struggles for that grip. Just wanted to change the gear a little earlier to get out of that endless wheel spin. I'm sure you can control it much better with a steering wheel and pedal set.
Let's see if we can catch up. freaks out around that corner. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's not very quick. It has six gears though. So it's got room for potential, you know, put lots of power on there and make sure it can <laughs> handle the, the power, then yeah, it'll be a quick little vehicle. 109.4. So it's not amazing, but it's not too bad, but a little underpowered. Alrighty, so let's see. Will it drift? I think so. <laughs> it's a BMW, of course it will. <laughs> but it is quite underpowered, but let's see. And, oh, just a little bit too underpowered. Oh. It does have potential, guys. Just add some more power and we're golden. Stiffen up the suspension, I would say, just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Subaru Legacy drift like that. Darn AI. <laughs> Drifted without wheel spin. <laughs> anyway, cool. There you have it guys, hope this was helpful, please like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and if you want to support the channel that would be fantastic, and comment below what your thoughts are on this vehicle and yeah, and why, I'd like to hear it, and as always, all the best. See you in the next one, peace.